You're listening to 30 Pounds Down, where losing weight is simplified with healthy habits. I'm Glenda Hill, a nurse turned holistic nutritionist. Let's go to the show. Hey friend, don't start another diet. A healthy weight requires more than just dieting and exercise. Reducing stress and managing your energy and and nourishing your body with the right foods are ways to wake up every day energized, ready to tackle your health and your life goals. Today, I'm sharing three practical ways to use your faith and food energy that keeps your metabolism running efficiently so you can feel strong and light on your feet. When we think of physical energy, Many focus on the grind. We push harder, we sleep less, we load up on the caffeine or the processed foods that promise energy, but deliver a crash. But the energy that we need to be that Proverbs 31 woman, the best wife, mother, businesswoman, it doesn't come from doing more, it comes from nourishing more eating foods that energize rather than drain us. The foods are loaded with preservatives and chemicals that your body doesn't recognize. It forces your body to work hard, to use energy to detox you and undo the damage. Every bite of those empty calories, it's like hitting the brakes on your energy levels. I'm not against all processed foods, only the ones that drain our energy. Whole foods like fruits and vegetables, nuts, grains, and seeds, all full of vitamins and minerals and antioxidants that our body craves. The calories are fuel. The raw materials are what our body uses to build energy at the cellular level. My sister, I hope you can see that your daily food is the number one concern because It's under attack. Commercially processed foods contain additives that drain your energy. And they're designed to trick your brain into craving more. These toxic foods are full of preservatives. And we know that because they last on the shelves forever. But they're not designed to promote our health. But don't worry, my friend, God is still in control. He's already given us a list of foods to eat until the end of time. Just read Genesis 129 and 318. And as a gift to you, I have curated 12 pages of delicious foods that you can enjoy without hesitation. These are foods that are clean, packed with vitamins, minerals, natural sugars that your body uses to make energy. I want to open your eyes to faith-driven weight loss that uses food energy for physical and spiritual energy. This is how it works. Think about standing at the base of a mountain, looking up at that long, steep climb ahead. Is that how you see your weight loss? (laughs) The mountain can represent the obstacles you face, the cravings, the discouragement, exhaustion, or even self-doubt, lack of confidence. Faith empowers you to ask God for strength to move obstacles or to give you the endurance to climb over them. Matthew 17, 20 says, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to that mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Each step in faith brings you closer to your goal. And over time, that mountain becomes a testimony of how God helped you overcome what once seemed impossible. There are three ways to help you pursue your goals, whether it's achieving your health, weight loss, running a business, serving in ministry, managing your home. Start eliminating the foods that drain your energy. Replace them with energizing whole foods that will empower your journey and strengthen your purpose. Begin by reading the food labels. Look out for those artificial ingredients and preservatives 
added sugars and unhealthy fats. You want to familiarize yourself with the common additives like the high fructose corn syrup, the trans fats, the artificial sweeteners. Another way is to cut out processed meats. Eliminate processed meats such as that bacon and sausage and deli meats. They are all loaded with preservatives and harmful additives, especially the red dye number five and 40. Choose plant-based proteins such as beans and lentils and quinoa. Another way is to prioritize your body maintenance. Yeah, just like your car maintenance has a schedule, well, your body also needs maintenance work. It's a discipline that we all have to live with if we want to drive a car that is safe to drive on the road, right? It's road worthy. <laughs> well, likewise, we live in a body and we want to be able to depend on our bodies to run optimally, right? It can be a joyful act of self-care. You don't want to take care of your health in a way that you're dreading it, right? You want to keep up with your hydration, mindful eating. That means moderation and self-control. You want to rest. That's very important. And all of these are basic principles of health for our healthy body and mind. So you want to perform each task with a smile on your face. Did you know that smiling can actually help you feel more energized. Smiling triggers the release of endorphins, which reduce stress and boost your mood. So even when you're choosing discipline over indulgence, put a smile on your face and trust that God is guiding your steps. Drink plenty of water, eat mindfully, and aim for eight hours of sleep each night. And don't forget about the Sabbath rest, a full 24 hours where you set aside work and worries and the cares of life and focus on worship, family, and renewal. This sacred time allows your body and your spirit to reset, and it's going to prepare you for the demands of the work week ahead. You'll have time to memorize your scriptures and you can hide them in your heart. So when you're faced with challenges, you have a lifeline. My friend, each time you stick to these routines, your body responds. Hormones balance out, blood sugar stabilizes, and you feel energized even before the number on the scale starts to move downward. <laughs> and if you ever feel like you're losing discipline, Take comfort in John 15, 7. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. So you're not doing this alone. You're not doing this in your own power, but you have to ask for the strength that you need. Ask for what you need, all right? If you want to start eating food to energize you, Download the free resource. When you see this list of foods, you may discover there are some things that you've never thought of eating or you forgot they even exist. I hope it will spark curiosity and get your creative juices flowing. The link is in the description. All right, my friend, if you like this episode, share it with a friend. Subscribe to my channel. Peace to you and have a great day.